Today we are talking about the DJI Neo and specifically FCC mode. In this video we're going to cover using the Neo with the DJI RCN3 in FCC mode as well as using the Neo in combination with the FPV goggles. Now there are two different methods that you are going to need here because the Neo is a bit of a crossover drone. It behaves a lot like DJI's traditional camera drones like the mini series but it also behaves like the Avata as well and when it comes to the FCC situation that is a bit of a mixed bag as well and there are different options depending on your choice of control system. Now, just before we move forward, I just want to be clear in saying you should always make sure you are flying legally within the rules and regulations in your specific region. The information that I provide here is just that. It is information. You should make sure that whatever mode you're using is the right mode for your specific country or region. Okay, so the first thing you need to understand is you're going to have different options with regards to the FCC mode depending on the configuration you use. Here we are using the Neo in combination with the DJI RCN3. This is a more traditional DJI camera drone setup and to use an FCC mode on this if you're in CE, what you're going to need to do is either use a companion app or one of the hacked apps. Now, today, at the point of me recording this video, I have not seen a solution from Drone Hacks or Drone Tweaks that actually works with the Neo. The actual hacked version of the Fly app from Drone Tweaks does put the Neo into FCC mode, but unfortunately, it doesn't actually support the drone. So if you do have Drone Tweaks installed on your phone, if you open the app, it will tell you that FCC mode has been enabled and I can confirm from my spectrum analysis tests that it actually has. However, the drone is not currently supported by this app. Now the guys at Drone Tweaks have said that they are working on an updated version of the app and I would expect that to come in the next few weeks. And when that does come, that will mean that you will be able to use the DJI Neo in FCC mode with the Fly app, just like you can on many of the other drones. Now, the next scenario is the use of the DJI Neo in combination with the DJI Goggles 3, as well as the DJI FPV Remote 3. Just to confirm, these are the only remote and goggles that do work with the Neo at this time. You cannot use the V2 goggles, the Goggles 2, the Integra, or the FPV Remote 2 with the Neo. It is only the Goggles 3 and the FPV Remote 3. Now, I am pleased to be able to confirm that the DJI ham file hack does also work on the DJI Neo, just like it does on the Avata 2, the O3 Air Unit and the Avata 1. This ham file will put the drone into FCC mode in CE regions and it will also give you the unlocked manual channel selection. You will have the option of three channels available in 40 megahertz mode or seven channels available in 10 and 20 megahertz mode. Now, to confirm you are in CE mode, simply go into the transmission settings and if you are in CE, the channel mode options will be greyed out. You will not have the ability to change it from auto to manual and this is an indication that you are stuck in CE mode. Now, if you've already got the file on the SD card on your goggles, all you will need to do is turn on the DJI Neo and it will automatically apply. And again, the same situation applies. Just check if you do have the manual channel selection. For those who have never done this, I'm going to walk you through the process of doing it next. Now, to do this, what you need is a file called ham underscore CFG underscore support, and you need to place this in the root directory of your SD card. Now, a download link to that file will be available in the description, but I will also show you next how to create this file for yourself. Now, to do this, you're going to need a text editor. Now, you can't use the built-in text editor that's part of Windows. You can actually use the one on Mac, but it still isn't advised. You'll need to download on Windows something such as Notepad++. It's free to download and it's a great text editor with lots of features. Or on Mac, you can download a program called Moped. Then all you need to do in one of these programs is create a new file. You do not place anything within the file itself. And then you simply need to click File, Save As, save it somewhere on your computer. You will know where you're able to find it. You need to label this file ham underscore CFG underscore support. 
Then you need to make sure that you save the file as the correct type. Now in Notepad++, you need to save it as all types. This means that there is no final extension on the name. It doesn't say .txt, .exe, anything else. You simply save it as an all types of file. Once done correctly, your file in Windows should look like this file here. You'll note that there is no specific icon to say what type of file it is. For instance, this file here has been incorrectly saved as a text file. You can see all of the lines. And whilst it doesn't show the .txt at the end, you can see on the file type, when I click on it, it will show it as a text document. Whereas this file, if I click on it, it will simply show it as blank. So you need to make sure that it looks like this. Once you've either downloaded or created the file, you then simply place it in the root directory of your SD card. You then take that SD card, place it into your goggles, making sure that you have locked it in correctly. And then you simply need to power up your DJI Goggles 3, your DJI FPV Remote 3. And once these have booted, you would then power up the DJI Neo drone. What you will find when it powers up for the first time is you might get a few beeps. So the remote controller, the drone, you'll hear it in a minute, beep. And then once everything's booted up and connected, you should then be in FCC mode. To check this, what you should see is the following. In your goggles, if you go down to the transmission menu, you should now see that the channel mode option is selectable. You can change this from auto down to manual selection. And then under here, you will now have the options for setting the frequency, either 5.8 or 2.4 gigs and the bandwidth. This means that you are in FCC mode. For instance, you now have three channels available in the 40 megahertz bandwidth mode, and you will have seven channels available in the 10 and 20 megahertz bandwidth mode. You can continue to use the drone in auto if you wish. There is no difference in RF power between manual and auto. You simply have the option of manually selecting channels, but regardless of which mode, you now have the full FCC power. Okay, so as I've shown, using the Neo in combination with the FPV goggles, the FCC mode is very straightforward. It's exactly the same as it is on the Avata and O3. With regards to FCC mode on the Neo with the RCN3, today there isn't a solution, but people are working on it. But you are going to need one of the paid either hacked apps such as Drone Tweaks or the companion that is available from Drone Hacks. There will be, as far as I can tell, no easy free FCC solution for the Neo when used with the RCN3, but it is free with the ham file when using it on the FPV Goggles 3. Now, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have and have any questions, please do let me know below. Finally, I just want to say if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, to allow us to buy products like this to be able to do this, please do consider checking out the link to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons am I able to keep making content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. If you're interested in seeing more, I do have a full live stream where I unbox and completely tear the Neo down. I'll put a link to that video at the end.